find all possible Jordan forms for an 8x8 matrix A with the following properties. First, the minimal polynomial of A is equal to lambda minus 2 to the fourth power. Then, the dimension of the eigenspace for eigenvalue 2 is equal to 3. Here, we have a crude problem on Jordan canonical form. So, we're going to see what we can get from Jordan canonical form without actually having to pull out a basis. Now, first step, look at nilpotent Jordan blocks. So here we're going to have square matrices, k by k, zeros everywhere except for the diagonal above the main diagonal where we have ones. Two properties worth noting. First, the minimal polynomial of n is going to be equal to the characteristic polynomial, which is lambda to the kth power. So you should check that. If we take our matrix, raise it to the kth power, we get zero, and we won't get it for any smaller exponent. Now, in some sense, these nilpotent Jordan blocks are going to be the opposite of diagonal matrices. So if we take the minimal polynomial of a diagonal matrix, it's going to factor into distinct linear factors. So if I go from the characteristic polynomial to the minimal polynomial, we drop all the exponents down to 1. Also, we have the dimension of eigenspace for eigenvalue 0 is equal to 1. There, we're going to have our eigenspace is spanned by the vector 1 and then all zeros. The way we'll use this, well, if we're keeping track of how many Jordan blocks we have, we need to only count up the dimension of all the eigenspaces, since each block has only one dimension of eigenvectors. From there, we have the general Jordan block. So we'll have a square matrix, eigenvalues down the main diagonal, ones above the main diagonal, and zeros everywhere else. If you note, if I subtract off the eigenvalues from the main diagonal, we have a nilpotent Jordan block, and then our previous two results apply. So here we'll have the minimal polynomial is equal to the characteristic polynomial. Okay, in this case, it'll be lambda minus 2 to the kth power. So recall that says j minus 2i raised to the kth power is equal to 0, and not for any smaller exponent. Then we'll also have the dimension of the eigenspace for eigenvalue 2 is equal to 1. So we're going to have this correspondence between dimension of the eigenspace for eigenvalue 2 and the number of Jordan blocks using 2 as the diagonal entry. Now, for the general Jordan canonical form, a few things we go through. So we're going to have Jordan blocks down the main diagonal, zeros everywhere else. First consideration, when we take our characteristic polynomial factor, all the roots in our field of interest. So for over the real numbers, that's something to worry about. For over the complex numbers, we can always use Jordan canonical form. Then we look at the minimal polynomial. Let's go determine the size of the largest blocks for each eigenvalue. Finally, if we want to get a handle on the number of blocks that we use, we take a look at the dimensions of the eigenspaces. So the total number of blocks used is going to be the sum of the dimension the eigenspaces for each eigenvalue. Okay, the number of blocks we use for each eigenvalue is just the dimension of the corresponding eigenspace. In our special case, we have an 8 by 8 matrix A. The minimal polynomial is lambda minus 2 to the fourth power. So the only factor that appears in the characteristic polynomial is lambda minus 2. We'll go from the characteristic polynomial to the minimal polynomial. The degree can come down but we don't lose any irreducible factors. So the only factor is going to be lambda minus 2. And by the size of the matrix, we have to have exponent 8. That means all of our blocks correspond to the eigenvalue 2. By inspecting the minimal polynomial, okay, the exponent on lambda minus 2 is a 4. So that means our largest block is going to be a 4 by 4 block. And that has to appear. Finally, we're given that the dimension of the eigenspace for eigenvalue 2 is equal to 3, so we're going to have 3 blocks. Now, that narrows things down to two possibilities. We have to have a 4 by 4 block, so that'll leave a 4 by 4 block, and we have to put 2 blocks in there okay, to get a total of 3 blocks. 
So we could do that with 2 plus 2 or 3 plus 1. Note we arranged the blocks along the diagonal. We're going to count that as the same Jordan form. Now, you should check that these two matrices satisfy all these properties. And then you might be asking, well, which one do we go with? We would need more information for that, and that would require having a specific matrix, and then you'd have to work with the null spaces and bases.